Hello everyone, today you will see the coolest, most complex, and large scale video on my channel. It took four days of filming. And compared to this, a huge hot dog, pizza, shawarma, and Kinder Joy are not at all small. This is a huge sandwich that weighs, at attention, more than 200 kilograms. Let's go. We go to the grocery store. We need a lot of red onions, tomatoes, three boxes, a box of lettuce, two buckets of mayonnaise, chicken fillets, eight packs of five kilograms, four packages of pork loin of four kilograms each, also a bucket of ketchup, a package of horseradish and some hot sauce, a five kilogram head of cheese, a bag of flour, some yeast, a kilogram of salt and off to the cashier. We spent roughly $340 on the whole shebang. You might have thought that we were going to cook now, but no. For this project, we need a very large stove. We have been building one for two months now. I'll tell you about it now. We had a huge wasteland on our site. We decided to build it up. A bunch of bricks were delivered for the stove. Red will be on the outside and fireproof on the inside. We also installed and painted the base for the canopy. We put up a fence and the lawn was laid out, laid the tile, a whole wall of wooden piglets was made for the background, planted some trees, and a smoker was made in the stove, installed doors with fireproof glass, and the lights were turned on and the burns were installed. We finished the roof and stretched the fabric under it so that the light would disperse better. In the end, it all looks like this. I agree, it turns out really cool. Now we can conveniently cook large dishes on this stove. So let's start cooking. The first thing we're gonna do is the dough. We put a huge frying pan on the bricks, we cover it up with film, then we take the bag, cut it, and pour out 40 kilograms of flour. We are finally ready for the filling. First, let's deal with the most difficult, the meat. We take two basins, we rip open the vacuum packages and pour the meat directly into the basin. In order for the chicken fillets to remain juicy and fry faster, we cut them on one side and open them up, thereby making them twice as thin. We transfer them into the second basin, and it took us two hours to cut 40 kilograms of chicken. When the whole basin is filled, salt the breasts well and add oil. Now mix very thoroughly. The chicken was sorted out and now pork. There was a lot of fat on top of it, which we naturally just cut off. At the same time, we tried to damage as little meat as possible. There was also another muscle on the piece that just falls off by itself. We cut it off. 
After that, we cut at each piece lengthwise into strips. The pieces that turned out to be thick, we just beat out. We lay out all these layers on the table, salt them really well, and cover them up with oil. Turn them over and repeat the same thing on the other side. Done. But one question still remains. What are all these pieces to fry on? And I will answer you on a big grill like this. You also need a lot of coals, a bowl for ignition, and some wax tablets. So this is how it works. We open up the coals and fill the bowl to the top with them. Then we take a wax tablet and light it with a lighter. We'll put the bowl on top. Due to strong traction, literally 10 minutes later, we get such hot coals. Open the grill in a special section. Pour out half a bag of still cold coals, and then hot. All this is leveled out, and we lay out the chicken. Fry them on each side, literally for three minutes. After that, we transfer this all to the gastro capacity. And how long this really is, it took us five hours to roast the entire chicken. We filled the grill grid with more than 20 times. So the chicken is finally ready, and we lay out the pork. The pieces are already much thicker, so therefore we cover them with the lid and open up the ventilation as much as possible. After 20 minutes, we turn it all over. Another 10 minutes and it's all done. And we're left with really super soft pork. We lay out the next batch, and after two hours, all the meat is ready. Now we can go to slicing the vegetables. Let's take out the red onion first. We open it up, cut it in half, and we cut off the tail and the dirty part of the root. Remove the husk and cut it into half rings. Five kilograms of chopped onions will be enough for us. We put all the tomatoes into one box. We take one tomato, cut it in half. We put it on the flat part of it and cut it into slices. And now we dump all of this into the gastro capacity. We do this with all the tomatoes. Now we take a five kilogram cheese head, cut it into two parts, and remove the film. We put it on the flat side and also cut it into slices. Cheese is probably the most inconvenient product for slicing. The fact is that it is super viscous and any, even the sharpest knife gets stuck in it. However, after an hour, everything is ready. The last thing that is left to do is the sauce. For this, we take two buckets of mayonnaise, one bucket of ketchup, a package of horseradish, and some hot sauce like Tabasco. We open up the buckets with mayonnaise and pour them into a basin. Now we open up the ketchup and remove the film, and add that in there too. We squeeze out a pack of horseradish. And the last thing, open up the hot sauce and pour out half of the bottle. Now all we have to do is left is mix. Finally, all the products that we will need are ready. And we can assemble our sandwich. We will do this right on some film. The lowest layer is the first slice of bread, a slice that weighs 70 kilograms. Then lubricate this up with 15 liters of sauce. The next layer is lettuce. Just take it and tear off the bunch. Spread it on top of the sauce. Next, we spread out our chicken pieces. Previously, this weighed 50 kilograms, but taking into the count of frying, I think 40 kilograms. 14 kilograms of chopped tomatoes. The next layer will consist of five kilograms of cheese. On top of the cheese, there are gonna be five kilograms of chopped onions, red onions. We scatter them on the surface. Now we spread out large pieces of pork on top. Previously, they weighed 16 kilograms, but taking into account the heat at 12. We fill the empty spaces between them with meat from the chicken leftovers. And another layer of lettuce. And for the last stage for which we were most worried, this is to transfer the second layer of bread over the entire filling so that it doesn't fall apart. Slowly. Oops. A little bit, lift more. Raise it higher still. Pull, pull it out. Pull it up. Pull it up. Oh, oh, pull it up. Oh, got it, got it, got it, you got it, got it, got it, got it. And how glad we were when everything worked out. You cannot convey this feeling when you do one thing for four days from morning to night and it finally turns out. We have calculated the weight of all the products, and our sandwich weighs, attention, 233 kilograms. In my opinion, this is a super large scale sandwich. Just compare the meat and the sandwich. We even cut it, but it didn't work out to push it all apart because of such the large weight. 
There's a lot of filling in it, and it's all super delicious. I think that everybody understands that eating an oversized sandwich like a regular one is near impossible. We handed most of this out to our friends, and in the course of the next two weeks, I will be eating only this sandwich.